case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the litigious saga of United States v. Sepulveda Hernandez, a 2014 case heard by the United States Court of Appeals for the First Circuit, the accusation was not simple drug dealing. This was a case that went a step further and tested the boundaries of the legal requirements surrounding drug distribution near a youth center. The defendant, Tomas Sepulveda Hernandez, found himself in the mire of multiple drug-related charges. The court, however, found there was insufficient evidence to convict him on the more severe charge of dealing drugs in proximity to a youth center. His drug distribution charges earned a guilty verdict. Resentencing, though, followed a different statute. The implications of his charges were intricately linked to his proximity to a youth center, the court ruled. This stood as an independent offense requiring proof beyond a reasonable doubt. While the court ruled against Sepulveda Hernandez's challenge to the calculated volume of drugs he allegedly sold, an estimation was made based on counting the number of small and large bags typically dealt from the drug point. In a turning point, the drug distribution convictions Sepulveda Hernandez initially faced were vacated. The court ordered new convictions under a different statute. His previously handed down sentence was repudiated, and the saga was prolonged as the case was remanded for further resentencing, this time for lesser charges. Although the defendant's other claims fell on deaf ears in the court, resulting in rejection, the forfeiture judgment remained intact. The verdict underlined that the court's decision was steady, refusing to waver under the myriad of challenges launched by the defendant. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.